morning, cyber friends. It's Mitty Man. Coming back at you from Walker's Music. We had another word for the day. Sunday morning edition. Almost nine. I'm a little late with it this morning. I normally do it early, but this morning I just kind of sit and just remind myself of certain things. Giving thanks to God for certain things. Praying for certain things. And uh, we just wanted to say that we always want to give God the glory. Give him all the praise and honor for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. Praying also for all the disciples, friends. You know who you are. We also send up a special prayer for Papa JT and keeping him in prayer as always that the Lord will give him full recovery. Also praying for our brother K Ray that uh, the Lord is holding him in his hand at this point in time, carrying him through a difficult time on the loss of his mom. I wanted to say just for a few minutes this morning uh, I've already had my sermon yes I know I'm ready to go out to go to the house of prayer this morning perform duties of the minister of music and see can we lead the people into the presence of the Lord and worship sir but I say I've had my sermon already I wanted to share something with uh, everybody this morning on uh, Sometimes I know a lot of people might might deem this here kind of strange, but nevertheless, I was watching. Uh, I was having a difficult time trying to get into thing. I seemed like I couldn't get into thing in motion last night for some reason. Uh, internet wasn't working right. Uh, I couldn't see videos on YouTube. Uh, I couldn't interact with any videos hardly. So I mainly just sat here and just fiddled. I just fiddled around, and so around about, I would guess it was around by midnight, there was a, a movie that came on TBN, and that's mostly what I watch at Trinity Broadcast Network. I don't watch any other channel hardly, but at any rate, this year, a movie came on, I believe it was called Welcome to Paradise, if I'm not mistaken, but it was a uh, star there, one of our great American singer songwriters and a very beautiful lady Crystal Bernard she starred in this here particular uh, show and um, she was a minister and um, matter of fact ministering she was ministering in a church in Dallas Texas and uh, that made me think about Papa JT as well so she was ministering in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the metropolis there and it was up under a uh, she was ministering up under the I guess you would call him the senior pastor of this here particular church um, uh, he was kind of narrow minded and uh, thinking that he was prejudiced against females number one because you got a lot of people like that now you got a lot of ministers I don't know where to get it from that they think that the pulpit belongs to them but God never gave nobody in a pulpit in other words, uh, when Jesus rose from the dead, the first message he gave was to a woman. Told him to tell his disciples to meet him in Galilee. And guess what? They didn't even move in. Even after God sent the woman, sent the message to them, they didn't move. So give me the women because they will move. But at any rate, I'm not here to talk about that particular point. But what I want to say is that in this movie, this lady she, that played, Crystal Bernard played, their leading role, very good actor. Uh, and she, she really did a marvelous job in this. I enjoyed that movie. I wasn't going to watch the movie had not been for my wife. I wasn't even going to watch the movie. But I'm glad I did because really it was my sermon for the day. In other words, it lifted me up. It made me see some things that I hadn't seen before or it made me see some things a little bit deeper than I had seen before. In the movie, like I said, it was a narrow-minded preacher that was glad to get rid of, which we're going to call her Deb. I think her name was Debbie in the movie. And uh, she had her moved to a uh, a lesser position and moved to a small town, got rid of uh, the big main church in the city, in which that was the best thing that could have happened for her because she got there into a town that was, that was, that was in need of a, a pure and a real leader. Not just someone that called themselves reverend, but a real per leader that knew God, in which she did. 
because she knew about brotherly love. And when she got to this town, how she transformed these people into loving, caring, they came together as one. Church caught on fire, burned the whole church down. They came together, laid it, donated a barn. They came together and they fixed that barn up and made a church out of it. And in the process, they built a nice facility for a homeless lady that was homeless and gave it to her for shelter made a beautiful home out of it for her and she would work at the church <clears throat> people that opened my eyes wide as a saucer with a cup sitting in it this woman preacher that this male quote unquote this male preacher didn't sit up on the seat of do nothing them. she got up and she transformed the community by what? Showing the love of God through the homeless. The homeless people, they came, they were living in missions and stuff. They came together to help the people of the community that were members of this particular church to rebuild. And they all had a great time, unity. And you could just see and feel, I know this was a movie, but you could see and feel the love. And you could see the actual love of God in that. People, I wondered. I sat in that. I sat in amazement last night, sitting on the side of the bed. And I said, Lord, this is what is missing. This is the missing ingredient in our churches today, in our community today. How great it would be if we would just take the example of this movie. Welcome to Paradise. Every church leader, every church member should watch this movie. And what I in my in my topic of my video this morning, do the Bible. Let's stop reading the Bible and let's do the Bible. Let's stop reading the Bible and do the Bible. We got so many and I'm just gonna I'm just got to say it, people. That go from middle man as well as from middle man up to the t the biggest one of us to the littlest one of us. We need to stop the hypocrisy and get the love of Jesus in our heart and in our mind, and then come together. Let's forget about this here race stuff, black and white, pink and pink and blue, and all this, and come together. What I saw in this movie on last evening. Is the in middle man's opinion this show this is the will of God for all of our lives that we come together as one and do things love each other and come together and we can get magnificent things done in Jesus name that is the real will of God for our lives people and I just I just I just got I just had to share that with with y'all if you haven't seen the movie try to look at that movie and you will see exactly what Middle Man is talking about. This was played so wonderfully by our lovely Crystal Bernard. She was she did a magnificent job in the acting and playing the lead role in this movie as the preacher who cared. How many times if we would just stop reading the Bible and start doing the Bible? This is what it matters. And we need to stop being hypocrite hypocrites, people. I feel we all have been hypocrite at one point in our lives sometimes. Some of us may be still playing hypocrite, but we can repent. Let us start doing, let us start being true to our own selves. You can't fool God, and you can only fool people to a degree. You don't fool them all the time. But let's stop trying to be trick, tricksters, trying to scheme and, and, and telling lies. Just just point telling lies, period. Just be honest and tell the truth. You know, I, 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 and I'm going to say this and I'm going to cut this video off. I see so much, so much stuff happening as I go from place to place and as I try to do the, bit, the best I can. And, you know, sometimes it's, my great grandma raised me to always tell the truth. She said, sometimes the truth may seem like it gets you in trouble sometimes. But in the end, it'll be the best thing. You know, it's just so much hypocrisy when you when you see when you when you just look at how some of us 
you know, we react and we got pick and choose. We do so much over here and so much. Then we look at this person and do totally opposite. You got certain, you know, certain folk we lift up and pray. But you know what? I'm going to make only lift up Jesus. I'm going to honor you, but I'm going to lift up Jesus. Point blank. And I'm not going to have any pick and choose. Just like this lady, Debbie. Reverend Debbie. I'm going to call her that from now on. Reverend Debbie. She showed the love of God by not having no respect to a person and brought a whole community together. And by them coming together, they did great exploits. People, that's what it's going to take in these end times. In these end times we're living in, and it's going to get worse as we go. But the people of God are going to have to come together. We are going to be the strength, and I do believe we're going to usher in the kingdom of God. Those that will stand firm, those that stop being hypocrites, Hypocrites, stop being a bigot. Stop trying to hate. Stop trying to lie and tell and scheme and stuff. Just be yourself. If you don't want to do something, just say, no, I'm not going to do it and be through with it. God would rather for us to be that way than to tell us one thing and do another. Let's just be for real, people. Let's stop reading the Bible and let's start doing the Bible. This is many man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into it, God is not in it. Best you come out of it, people. There's many man saying peace. If you go to some worship service this morning, make certain you're up from God, not man. Peace. Goodbye.